Hello, y'all. So I'm back with another video. I bet y'all wondering why I'm at and why I'm doing. We'll get in that, into that in a second here. But before we dig into our conversation, I need y'all to hit the like button. I need y'all to subscribe. And I need y'all to tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell everyone about this channel, about this video, about narcissistic abuse, and about the characteristics and the behavior of narcissists, how to get out, how to get away, how to get to safety, and how to have and lead a normal, happy, healthy life. Normal, happy, healthy life, guys. So, right now I am walking through one of the malls and shops here in Vegas. Um, I'm just sightseeing, walking around, moving around, seeing what's around here in my peripherals. I'm just trying to get a small time Vegas experience before I go back home to Austin. Uh, ooh, people's throwing money up in here. Okay, I guess that's the thing. I remember doing something like this as a kid, but okay. just amazing when you can treat yourself and you cannot focus on the narcissist and you can do you and you can do your thing I just got done eating y'all so excuse me when you can do your thing and not focus on the narcissist make yourself happy focus on you do what makes you feel and look good create new memories for yourself That's a little bar over there to the side. There's Starbucks. There's Starbucks. There's all kind of stuff up in here. I got probably spend a whole day in here, which I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna walk the strip here soon. There's a pool over there at the hotel. So this is a mall. A hotel, a bar, a ticket booth, I mean just all wrapped up in one. There's so many things here. There's shoe stores, there's a, what else is up in here? There is a arcade, arcades, bars, restaurants, hotels. Clothing and shoe stores, a bunch of people walking around, a lot of music and noise, activity. You name it. I mean, anything you can think of is here. I think the next time I come here, I'm going to bring my children so they can pick out what they want. I'm not buying nothing because I don't feel like going through TSA and then making me throw things away. And I'm just not feeling that right now. But, um, but yeah. This is very therapeutic. You know, I'm not calling the narc and worrying about what he not doing and worrying about what he doing and worrying about this, that, and the third. And I was in prayer today, focusing on God. I gave God some of my time and I had a very nice plane ride. It was cool, it wasn't long. The people I sat next to were very nice. They were not annoying. So today's been a really good day. A really, really good day. But one of the things I wanted to talk about is people and jealousy. Hang on just a moment. So one thing about jealousy and about people is you cannot share your accomplishments you cannot share what you are about to do, what your plans are, because people will try to sabotage them because they are jealous of you. They don't want to see you up because they not up. They want to be up and they don't want you to be up or they want to be up first or they want to have a one up on you. So there's a lot of people inside of a bar watching a football game. Don't know who's playing today. But yeah, 
And then one thing that I wanted to touch on was when I was pregnant with my oldest child, um, I was at a home in the countryside of New Jersey. And I believe wherever I was staying at at the time was a cult because it was very deep into Christianity and about the Bible and God and Jesus, which I have no problem with, but it was, that's how we ate, lived, slept, and breathed. And it was a group of women there in this home with me, and they all had children, but I was the only one there pregnant. And one of the children there was running around the house, and he almost ran into my pregnant belly. And I told him, hey, hang on, you can't be running around here. And so the mother of that child gave me a dirty look. Like, like as if how dare you check my child or how dare you say anything to my child. But the thing about it is he almost ran into my pregnant belly. So I was a mother protecting my unborn, unborn child. I was a mother who was protecting my, myself. So people, they want to be able to tell you what to do. They want to be able to tell your kids what to do. They want to be able to run your life and they want to know all your business, but on the other side of that coin, they don't they don't want you to tell their kids what to do. Oh, thank you. Oh, that do smell good. Um, they don't want to be able, they don't want you to be able to tell their kids what to do. They don't want you to know their business. They don't want you to run their life. But they want to be able to do all those things to you. You you can't hold them accountable, but they can hold you accountable. They, they want you to tell the truth, but they can't tell the truth. They want to create stories about what you did that was false. But on the other side of that coin, they expect you to be truthful about, about them and what they've done that was good. Or they, they expect you to put their name in a good light. Oh, my favorites, Bath and Body Works. I love Bath and Body Works, my daughter and I both. So anyway, you have to be careful of who you hang around. Be careful of who you share your information with, who you allow to come to your house. <laughs> Be careful of who you tell your business to. Be careful of who you tell your plans to. And just because somebody is nice to you in the beginning doesn't mean that they have the best interest for you. A lot of people are wolves in sheep's clothing. And you have to just be very, very careful. You have to keep your circle small, your circle tight. Everybody can't be your friend. And everybody is not your friend. Um, what else I want to share with y'all? You know, a person can create these false plans with you, these false goals. You know, things that what we all call future faking. They are notorious for future faking with you, wasting your time, playing games, moving your feelings up and down like a yo-yo. They use you until you can't be used up no more. You, you paying for them to live until, you know, the foundation crumbles and then you the problem. Ooh, there's the casino, I'm about to go in. You know, everything is all good until until you are no longer beneficial to them you know they'll tolerate you until you are no longer an asset to them and they'll be quick to say that you a bad mom or you a bad dad you're not good enough you was never good enough you ain't gonna never be nothing you was never anything nobody loves you nobody wants you nobody likes you you know, stuff like that. They say things like that to you to get you down, to get you depressed, to hurt your feelings, 
to break your spirit. People like this are evil, they're demonic. They not, and then what they get you addicted to is that chase. The chase of you getting their validation, the chase of you getting their permission, the chase of you getting their approval, the chase of you getting getting uh, uh, accepted by them. And uh, I'm about to see what's downstairs. I'm about to go to the sugar factory too. I've been trying to find the entrance. Yeah, you know. You, you will spend your whole entire lifetime trying to satisfy somebody that will never be satisfied with you. Nothing you ever do is good enough. You are never good enough. You will never be good enough. And it's, it's, it's mighty funny how and ironic how ever since the narc has exited my life, how my life has changed drastically over a period of 18 months and how God is continuing to bless me. It's another bar. Another, I'm inside of a casino here, y'all. I am not playing a casino because I am not blowing my money I work hard for. Here's another Starbucks. So yeah, guys, you know, ooh, I wanna show y'all something here, look. I don't know if the camera can pick it up or not, but Gordon Rosemary Burger is the name of that place. I think that was kind of cool. So yeah, you know, my life has been elevated times a hundred since the narcissist exited my life and I'm growing spiritually. I'm growing mentally. I'm growing emotionally. I'm growing spiritually and financially. Things are on the up and up, you know? And, uh, and none of this would have been possible if God did not put me in a position to go through some things. And I went through those things because God wanted me to, to see who these people really are. God wanted to show me what they are really about, what this narcissist and his family are really about. He wanted to show me their true intentions, their true heart. The hearts are made of, are made of stone. You will not ever get a narcissist to take accountability for nothing that he or she has done. You will never get a narcissist to tell the truth, especially if it means putting themselves down or if it means exposing the evil that they have done. The best thing to do, instead of trying to prove them wrong, and instead of trying to uh, spend your time trying to work things out with them or trying to prove a point to them or trying to get them to see your side of things, instead of wasting your time doing that, instead of getting headaches and migraines, instead of getting depressed, angry, instead of making your body go through all these health challenges that you don't need to be going through, instead of doing all of these things, walk away. The best thing to do is to walk away. That's how you almost dropped my camera, almost dropped it, sorry y'all. But that's how you get peace. That's how you get the storm to, to roll away. That's how you, you get clarity on things. That's how you grow as a person, as an individual. That's how you accomplish all the goals that you ever wanted to accomplish in your life before the narcissist entered your life. 
that's how you make yourself happy in all the ways that you initially wanted to be and the person that this narcissist made you out to be you get to shed that old person and you get to get rid of that person and you become this new beautiful person this 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 person that you ha always have been all along but the narcissist use their lies and manipulation and control and gaslighting to cloak you now you are no longer cloaked Eminem y'all I like Eminem too um, the real you begins to shine and show the real me is shining and showing I'm able to do me with ease without having to explain myself without having to argue without having to defend myself without having to work so hard to come up with money to do this and without being stressed out and upset and, and, and sad and angry and depressed all the time without feeling like I'm walking around on eggshells in my own home, without having to feel like I need permission to do anything when I'm a grown up adult, all those things. Without being lied on and lied to, you know, just all of that is gone. You get to do away with all of that. Well, this is the end of the video here. I got more sightseeing to do. I got more things to look at. I see you guys in the next video. Peace and blessings to you all. Later. Just a little extra bonus clip for y'all to see. I have sweated my hair out, my shirt. It is hot in Vegas. Like my hair looks a mess. I feel a mess. I mean, I knew that Vegas was gonna be hot, but, but dang, like, ugh. it's a real sauna out here. It's not as humid here as it is in Austin, but it's definitely hot. I'ma just tell you, my hair, full of sweat, my shirt, full of sweat. Oh man. But these are the things that you can do for yourself when the narcissist is out of your life and you begin focusing on you and what you want to do and what makes you happy. You could refocus the attention on you, refocus the priority on you, refocus the goal on you. You know, when I was with the narcissist, all I ever focused on was making him happy, pleasing him, being a good wife, being a mom and, but I, I left myself to the side and I didn't focus on me and I left myself hanging and I didn't give myself the love and the attention that, that I deserved give yourself the love and attention that you deserve this is another hotel I'm entering here full of shops and stores and casinos slot machines Ice cream, candy, food, you name it, it's all here. But this is what you want to do. You want to open yourself up to these types of memories and opportunities and visits. And you deserve it. You deserve this. Not the narcissist, not the flying monkeys, but you. Love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace and blessings. Later.